Good morning. I'm Captain Matt Malinsky of the Ohio National Guard. Welcome to the Operation Enduring Freedom Call to Duty Ceremony for the 371st Sustainment Brigade. Today we have come together to commemorate this historic undertaking. I would like to thank the families, friends, and employers who are here today for their continued support and strength. It is my distinct honor to introduce our first speaker, Major General Deborah Ashenhurst, the Adjutant General for Ohio. Boys, I watched all these soldiers walk in here today. Like each of you, I was just filled with pride. What a group. But then I look at the crowd, and then I really say, wow, wow. Thank, thanks for joining us today, this tremendous crowd, for this call to duty ceremony for our 371st Sustainment Brigade. Great ceremony, great day, but won't it be wonderful about a year from now when we're back here to greet them coming home. You know, I bring greetings from our governor, Governor John Kasich, who is very proud of our organization, what our National Guard is doing, not just overseas, but here on the home front, too. You know, the National Guard celebrated its 376th birthday in December. So for 376 years now, citizen soldiers like these before us today have answered the call to duty to defend this country. American soldiers have always been willing to put their boots on the ground and fight for the freedoms and the way of life we enjoy here in the United States. The more you do that, the longer the ceremony. Just saying. <laughs> to the brave soldiers of the 371st, thanks to all of you. Thanks for the sacrifices you've already made. I know we've taken you away from your families a lot for the train up, for the duties you've already done, uh, but the difference you're going to make and the sacrifice you're making in the defense of this country and to making this country what it is and for protecting the freedoms we enjoy, I say thank you. you know, there's a common thread connecting all these soldiers before you today. It's that old adage that freedom isn't free. And those freedoms that we so take for granted are worth fighting for. Our nation's armed forces are the greatest power in the world and remain so because of men and women who are willing to put on that uniform of the U.S. military, that less than 1% of the population of the United States that wears the uniform of the United States military. You know, America's strength is founded in the willingness of the citizen shoulder, soldier to make personal sacrifices to defend this nation. You know, the National Guard is relevant and ready because of citizen soldiers like you. You know, the National Guard's motto, the Ohio National Guard's motto is, when called, we respond with ready units for our federal, state, and community missions. Well, soldiers of the 371st have been called, and they are ready to perform their wartime mission. I'd like to one more time have the, the senior leadership stand up. Colonel Greg Robinette and Sergeant Major Scott Bargy, please stand. You know, your mission is, you're here to fully execute your mission, utilizing these soldiers the best you can by taking the best care of these soldiers that you can and then communicating back with all these other people in the audience, their families. Good luck on your mission, gentlemen. You know, we've asked much, much of all of you, and since receiving this mobilization order, you've been training and you've been preparing, you've been changing, you've been on, you've been off, the numbers go up, the numbers go down, uh, but you know, what you've done is nothing short of spectacular. I want you to know that it not go unnoticed. You know, we ask, okay, how many of you have deployed at least twice? Raise your hand. Three times? Anyone on their fourth deployment? God bless you. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen. This is our new generation of warriors. This is our new generation of heroes. You know, the successful training I just talked to you about is a result of the dedication and the professionalism and the selfless service. And they deserve our respect and our admiration for what they're doing. Soldiers, you're about to write another part of history and the long-standing tradition in the call to serve. 
But surrounding these great warriors are the best families in the world. We have the greatest families in the Ohio National Guard. And you are also making the sacrifices. And I want to personally thank each of you for what you do so that these service members can do what they have to do. You know, while our soldiers are the ones that raise their right hand and say, I will serve, it's the families that also serve side by side daily with unwavering support to these service members so they can remain focused on what their mission is and accomplish what they need to accomplish. I call you all the power behind the power, and I don't take you for granted. You know, the, the morale of these soldiers is greatly influenced by what, how you do your job, families. Skype is great. Email is fabulous. But there's nothing better than that letter or card that actually comes in the mail that they can tuck up into their helmet or down into their, their flak jacket, as we used to call them, and have with them pull it out whenever they want. So I, I just encourage you, use all mediums by which to bolster these soldiers while they're on deployment and keep their morale high so they can do what they need to do. You know, each spouse, each mom, each dad, neighbor, aunts and uncles, you give your nation, this nation, your most treasured possession. You know, it's our families that bear the burden each day. And I just want to express my gratitude to you. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always awed by your commitment. I'm humbled by your extraordinary, extraordinary devotion. And never take you for granted. Is, is Pam Ashman here? Pam, are you in the crowd? I don't see her. If you all don't know... Oh, thanks, Pam. If you all don't know Mrs. Pam Ashman... You need to. She is your family readiness group leader. She is the conduit for all truths from this unit while they're deployed. So if you hear it from some other source, it's only a rumor because this command team will communicate through her as to what's happening with your units. So please don't spread the rumors. Listen to what Pam has to say. Thank you so much for taking on the duties. I know it's very challenging, and I, I trust that you're su surrounded by a great support system. Thanks for what you're doing. Family members, I want you to, have, to know that you can trust that this, this command team is the best trained and these soldiers are the best trained, best led, most capable army in our history. In our, okay, one more time. And our employers, I know we have a couple employers here today. Trust me, I understand that you also are serving our nation. I understand the sacrifices you have to make trying to run your businesses uh, a couple people short or having to hire temporaries and get them trained up to do it. I understand and acknowledge the sacrifices that our employers make today and that many times we've asked you to do it repeatedly. Thank you for continuing to serve. Thank you for continuing to support our service member so they don't have to spend this year looking over their shoulder wondering if they have a job to come home to. Thank you. You know, when it's, when it's all said and done, the United States Army, the best army in the world, the most preeminent land power on earth, is all about soldiers and leaders rooted in a set of enduring values. You are part of America's proud history. And you're just about to write another chapter. So thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thanks for the outstanding job you're about to do. I can't wait to be back here a year from now. You'll be in my prayers. Godspeed.